I've begun to wonder if the restrainer would be taken out suddenly or if it could be plausible that it's a withdrawal because something is happening here. And I just have to wonder, and I don't want to give you the creeps. Um, I'm not um, cynical about the world we live in because of the great gospel of Jesus Christ going all over the world, even while we sit here today. I'm not cynical about what is happening. But I, I will tell you, there is no way that we are not seeing the mystery of lawlessness increase. Remember that Jesus said as time came toward his arrival, his second advent, that lawlessness would increase. Now, if it's increasing and the restrainer is the one restraining, if lawlessness is increasing and the restrainer is the one restraining, if lawlessness is coming up, the restrainer is pulling up, it seems to me. Just doing a little math there. If something's coming up, then something's going up right over it. And so I wonder if through the course of God's name being taken out of all manner of community and governmental um, facility, uh, prayer going out of the schools, God being actively invited out of the civic um, governmental living has an impact on the restrainer being pulled back, 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 back. I'm no longer sure, like I used to be, that it will be an instantaneous thing that the restrainer is all of a sudden removed. Now I've begun to wonder, is it something that he begins to withdraw? That as lawlessness increases, the restrainer begins to pull back. Would that be an explanation for some of what we see going on? Now, here's the beautiful thing. Because when we want to get all undone about this, because that is undoing, here's what we got to understand, that in the last times, it will be the best and worst of times. And I, I need you to just keep a grip on that. Because at the time that there will be all manner of ecological disaster, that's what we have in, in uh, Matthew 24, Jesus describes um, many um, uh, physical things that are happening on the earth, uh, how the earth is almost like turning on itself. Second Timothy chapter three talks about the sociological disasters going on, how people, how the times will be perilous because people will be so godless. People will be so loveless. People will be lovers of themselves and lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, blasphemers. They will be um, disobedient to their parents, ungodly, unloving, irreconcilable, slanders without self-control, savage, opposed to what is good, treacherous, reckless, conceited, loving pleasure rather than loving God. They will maintain the outward appearance of religion, but will have repudiated its power. So I have nothing to do with people like these, it says. So here's a, it's a whole thing going on, but at the same time, Acts chapter 2, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit on my sons and my daughters, and they will prophesy in my name. So while, here's what can happen. While that Holy Spirit is restraining all around us and begins to withdraw, He does not withdraw from us. There is an outpouring on us. And it is why that no matter what is happening around us governmentally and, and globally, we have to step out in the light because His Spirit is upon us.